In the 90s, Playmates Toys made the deepest line of Star Trek action figures in history. My name's Keith, and I'm a collector working towards owning all 284. I've been a Trek fan for almost 35 years, and most people are sick of me talking about it. But somehow I've convinced my old friend Mike to review them with me on... Look at my Star Trek toys! What is whoosh up, everybody? Welcome back to Look at My Star Trek Toys. And boy, do we have something exciting for you today. We have another one of our amazing mystery unboxings today. And so both I and Mike have received mystery boxes in the mail. Uh, very excited to see what's in it. We have set up a command center of 10,000 different cameras to document all of this thoroughly. And it's a monsoon here, so who knows if we have any internet, enough internet, enough cameras, enough technology, but listen. <laughs> we have too much of all of that. Yeah, but we're having, f guys, ladies, family, we're having mm. fun today. Today we are having a lot of fun. We just played with some Dick Tracy toys. You saw that last week, I assume, yeah? No, we're going to do this first. So okay. next week, you're going to see Next week, Dick Tracy wait toys. for it. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a, a blast we've been sitting these have been sitting on my shelf for weeks now so i'm so excited to dig in before we even know what they are such a thank you to all those friends who have joined the patreon all of those friends mm -hmm. who take the time to listen to our garbage nonsense requests and send them to us for customs for for funsies in the mail uh nothing brings me more joy than knowing I have mail to open from from the friends. So yes. let's, let's we, get excited. We have mail from our, you know, one of our oldest friends, uh, J.D. Elaine at J.D. Makes. Uh, and Colin Dagan has sent something to Mike. I don't know what it is. Me neither. I it's thought you knew for be, sure. I have no idea what came from uh, Colin. We'll I, save that for the for the finale. We'll do that. Well, yeah, we'll do that at the end. I don't, I don't know what, what came from JD for you. So it's going to be exciting. So I think. Yeah, JD uh, sent me. We'll have to figure out. So JD sent me an instruction pamphlet uh, on a PDF yes. of how to manipulate what is in the box here. I haven't looked oh, at that. Oh, really? Yeah. So I guess he well, also. You, better, he, you he, better pull it up. Yeah. So this is, this is if you see on our patron page, we have a, uh, we have a final category of our patrons and that of the people who send us stuff. And if you would like to send us stuff and join that patron, plus you get to see the joy on our faces like little children on, you know, opening boxes, you can email us at look at my Star Trek toys at gmail.com and we can set that up. But if you just want to send pictures of your customs, you can also send that to look at my Star Trek toys at gmail.com as well as play sets or photography, kind of whatever you got, you know, uh, cosplay stuff, send it all. All right. Let us, let's do this. All right. So you, do you have the instructions up? Well, let's see what it is first before I don't okay. want to, you know, let's not go spoiler here. Keith. Sheesh. All right. So I Sheesh. have not opened this. I just cut the top so that I could, uh, obscure the address. Uh, so this is the reveal here. All right. Okay. What's going to go. happen? Oh, all right, first off. Oh my goodness. I'm not looking down there yet. Don't look down. All right, let's go. Hey, Mike, I know you like a figure with a good gimmick. Well, this one is all gimmick. Should I look at the box first? It seems to be covered. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I think you can take that off and take, because look at, look at who that is. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was so, see, I always read the card first. I'm a, a saverer. Captain Mike and Deglio. This is the look at. This, this is this is for your figure. figure. Yeah, hold on. Where is it? Where am I at? Oh, and we. Chris, I broke it. <laughs> I kept it intact this whole time. I just broke it. No, no, no okay. I can, did, I can oh god, the did, leg. did you? Oh god. <laughs> I can't believe. Oh, the leg fell off. The leg definitely came off. Oh Jeez. my god. The oh, leg. Mikey. Oh, boy, the leg. It's some super gold. Take care I can of that super instantly. That. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. That's pretty good. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. It's been oh, okay. It seems okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's prognosis all fine. It's is all okay. Fine. It doesn't seem like oh, anything. What a great figure. Come on. How cool is that? That's awesome. I, and I have the bubbles. I already have the bubbles. 
You forgot the bubbles. Yeah. Look at that. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm, I'm going to fashion it completely. Now I I won't fall and break anymore and put it in the box. Show the back, show the back. Yes, we did. Yeah, we showed the design of this. Look how cool that is. JD's fantastic design work and now it exists in real life. Hold on. We have to do Oh, I don't have my phone with me. I want we have to know if that's a real QR code. Oh, yeah, hold on. That's, that's Can we QR question. code through 17 through. channels of internet? Well, hold it still. Yes, yes, it totally works. All right, here, hold on. What does it say? It is a link back to JD's YouTube page. JD makes at JD the Black Phoenix. We will link to that below. Uh, of course, that's really freaking cool. Really, JD, I'm like, I'm touched. I love oh. that I just broke the friggin' leg off this thing. I just like, oh, great. Actually, <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely need to glue it. Okay. Sorry, Chris. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been, oh, it's my pride and joy, too. It didn't snap off, though. I think it just. I mean, I literally, like, I, I had my, my brother and his fiance See, that look over like last it's night. It's too broken. Nah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I can definitely get that on there. Okay. Yeah, we'll get it fixed. But yeah, I mean, I I tell you that I I had my brother and his fiance over here yesterday, and uh, like all I did was show them the cool stuff, the figures, the painting JD did. Like I literally like look at all this cool stuff I have. I can't wait to all right. to box myself up, put myself in a corner. Uh, Some people in, spend their whole lives coming out of the closet, Keith. I want to go back in the box. Get back in the box. Okay, so here we go. We're all opening. Right. What is this? Wait, is this, is it, it's, is it Goo Odo? Get it on camera. Get it on camera. Oh I, my God, it's Goo Odo. I think it's Goo it's Odo. Be. It's hefty. Hold on, it came oh with a box, God. Keith. It came with a box. Hold on. Take that box. Part two. Oh, Shiftable, shape shifting Odo. Shape shifting Odo. No way. Look at that. Changeling Odo, Dominion Leader, and then J JD's custom choking hazards. Morph form, morph head, shape shifting forms. Oh my all right. So hold on. Because I I, I have a little bit of a uh I, I have a sense of what is going on here. So uh Let me first give off, you a read first. Yeah. yeah all right. Odo Ital was a changeling who served as chief security. Above aboard the space station Tarek Nord, later known as Deep Space Nine, he's the only known changeling to reject Founding's beliefs and gain humanoid species. Blah 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 blah. He did not have the benefit. Of, I'm. Should, can I read this? I don't want to. I don't oh, know if it's oh, spoiler. Oh, right. Oh yeah. No, you know what? Don't. I will say this. Odo did not wear real clothes. Instead, creating his uniform from his body, despite the difficulties imitating certain humanoid features, he was skilled enough at a shapeshifter. All right. Oh, instructions. So you combine these pieces. All right, Mikey, let's see. So this seems to be a separate piece entirely. Oh, they're magnetic, dude. Holy crap. Okay. They're magnetic. Okay, so this appears to be... Let's go full form first, right? Yeah. So they they connect magnetically. This is incredible. Oh... Holy shnikey. Okay, so this is full Odo, because here's but with half a head. Right, because he's he's morphing. Oh my god. Okay, he's morphing. As you can see, like I want I don't want to disrespect the like look how much work. Right. Oh god. Oh that is so cool. Paint on the back. Okay, but look as he goes that. down a little bit more, Keith. Oh no, that's phase two, because phase one no <laughs> phase one, I didn't see this piece over there. It's full Odo head. Full Odo head. How the hell did you make this? So full Is this Odo resin head resin of some sort? Full Odo magnets? head then goes to half Odo melty head. Unbelievable. Then it goes down to what appears to be full He's goo. He's melting out of the... Full goo! 
right? Oh my, you're right. But if you want, you can also do, Keith, half goo as he's coming back, and you do the upper torso. Holy shit. So you got that, which I think might be my favorite. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. But Keith, but wait, there's more. This, he can also have a hammer hand, which I guess is something I'll find out about. Oh, yeah. Right, that like he needs to create a drink or something, be, a rock to Gino, maybe? Or needs to knock somebody down. Right. Uh, oh, wow. JD, how the hell did you do this? <laughs> Look, I'm so... I'm going, I don't understand how you did this. I'm going just like full auto here. Like, I'm assuming, like, molds and resins and then putting the magnets in it, but good lord. Completely unique, playable, creative. Like, it's it it's a contemporary figure where they, where they give you all the various options for stuff. That, and the magnets hold it together. Yeah. My goodness. That is cool. JD, look out, buddy. You're going to get a lot of requests <laughs> to make more of these. Wow. That is cool as heck. I mean, that's, I mean, that's freaking awesome. Oh, it's terrifying, but also <laughs> unbelievably cool. JD, you have outdone yourself yet again. My Let's goodness. Hold on, let me uh, you know I got it, Keith. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Wow. Well, JD sent you something too, right? He sure did. And uh, this one, unfortunately, uh, I uh, it arrived in the middle of a monsoon and a rainstorm. And so I had to I had to open it enough to protect what was inside from getting soaked uh, because I literally went out and and uh, we I got back from something and there's this poor soggy box and I was like, no! Luckily, uh, I was able to get it open and protect the insides, starting with, just like you, I got my card back for my figure, uh, and it's uh, just just like you did. It looks unbelievable to have the, the, uh, the card so back cool. here. Uh, I'm definitely going to build this in and put the figure in it. Oh, for just, sure. Just like, just like you did. Um, for, no, for no reason other than to protect the darn thing, uh, but like that is so cool. It's got even got the it's got the the peg. Maybe I'll hang it and do a and do like I have some of the loose figures. That is the mostest host jingle wrangler. It this is fantastic. You know we went over the design before. QR code there, folks. Use the QR code to go to JD's YouTube channel and uh, and check out all the amazing stuff he has going on there. So cool. So you might have people, uh, you know, paying attention at home might have a good guess as to what is in mine. And guess what? It is the Dominion leader changeling here in it, here in the, uh, God, it's, it's, it's so, I, I have not like taken it out and played with it yet. Uh, so we'll do do the box as well. The uh, the female changeling played by Salome Jens. The whole design is done here with the Dominion. I'm not going to read it until Mike has seen all of it. Mm -hmm. I have to sort of look at it sideways because I don't have a top down. Oh, she's okay, so awesome. First off, so first off, it's also magnets, and then the head head comes up. All right, hold on. So look. Look at this. So the magnets, those are really good magnets. They are really held in there beautifully. So this is the female changeling sculpted. Uh, is this a burial? Maybe I don't know. But look at the look at how good that sculpt is. Really, really good. And come on, focus. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at how good that sculpt is. And like, it's magnets, and they're strong enough. 
They just click right in and they stay right there. That is so cool. So now let me, I also have some bonus parts. So I'm going to, I'm going to put her on the turntable. So while we're looking at that, Oh, I got, I got a hard copy of the instructions. Christmas jammies. <laughs> I do have my Christmas jammies. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It feels like Christmas, Keith. I mean, it legitimately does. Uh, we this, we this, remember what we're doing, and this is this it, feels man. so much like like original old school play. Yes. All right, so now we're we're gonna we're gonna work our way up from from full goo to full change. Oh my god! So take a look at this. That's so cool. here. We're gonna have her come out a little bit more. And we're going to add the torso to it, right? And then put a goo head on it, and she's literally like coming out of it as we're as we're talking here. Got an arm. Oh, that's the wrong arm. Look, oh, that is at, cool. That is cool. Look at that! It it all just snaps in like perfectly like that. And we have we have this. This gooey arm. We have the expansion arm right there. Oh, now she's like a, she's like attacking. That's very cool. But now she wants to be like now let's now let's make her like full scary and give her the scary head. Oh my god, look how cool that is. Right? And then we've got we've we've got hammer arm too. All right, so if we want to go like whatever the scariest version is so you've got you've got hammer arm with like the uh hammer arm's awesome right with the seal oh my god that's really cool all right so now we go back to the original main figure and so we can make her half good as well oh keith we've got two half goos make a whole goo i and what's great is that the way JD has designed it here to work seamlessly with the main figure with painting the top parts of it there. So it literally is in mid transformation as that's happening. Uh, let me just let me just get this in focus because I'm I'm obsessed with this head here. Because look at look at I'm assuming that's a mold of some sort, but also to paint the face into that. Yeah, like a reverse mold of Odo's head, maybe? And like so, like I said, so playable. The the kid me just you can you can literally just play out scene after scene mm -hmm. with in this whole world. Oh, and she also has a her own custom stand. Wow. I mean, that is just unbelievable, JD. Oh, and we're almost synced up in our uh, in our spin. <laughs> I know, pretty nuts. <laughs> wow, that is unbelievable. Wow, uh, JD, thank you. Thank I, I I I got nothing more to say other than thank you to that. We know the the time. And trust me, just setting up these cameras is time. <laughs> I can't imagine. I can't even down. imagine. Yeah. <laughs> The and effort then, it takes to make something like this. Not just make it, Keith, but then pack it up and mail it to somebody else and like give it give it away. You know and, what I mean? And give it away. Yeah. <laughs> I would never in a million years give this away. So <laughs> I'm just not that nice of a person. Uh yeah. Anyway, check out all of JD's stuff. Um, we'll link to his YouTube channel below or use a QR code mm -hmm. from uh that, that we showed you there before. Um at, I think it's at J, JD the Black Phoenix on YouTube. He has uh, another fantastic Star Trek toy channel that has expanded onto a whole mess of other things. Um, but there is one more thing to do because, Mike, the, the, the Christmas is not over yet. This is not over yet. I'm going to just move this. Another good friend and patron, Colin Dagan, has sent us something that neither one of us has any idea what it is. Nope. Um, but we've got it here. I've it's got just, I am just got toys and box art around me. It's just so awesome. I am, feel like the luckiest kid in the world. I'm 42 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 43 in two months. But yeah, my birthday's in two months, y'all. I mean, if you want, if there's, my address is available. If you email us and let us know what you're sending. You don't need, 
<laughs> the guy unwrapping multiple presents. Like, I, you know, I could use some presents. Keith, I don't need them, but we do need content. And uh, we we'll put just content. about anything on the internet. So Everyone knows this already. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, my God. Okay. It's oh, my God. I'm, ex- I'm, like, legit right? excited. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to read it first. I see an address, so I'm not. I'm going to cover that with my... <laughs> okay. There you go. <clears throat> Mike, please enjoy your custom DS9 Quark Nightlight. Keith might not have formally commissioned me to do this. See the video of my DS9 Transporter Series customs you reviewed a few months ago. But I had the parts and I did it for you anyway. Sincerely, Colin Dagan. Oh, oh my God! My a Quark God. Nightlight? Are Dude, I'm all Quark me? all the time. Oh my God, it's awesome! Hold on. Uh, Odo, we'll come back. Oh my god. Okay, I got my pot light here. On the... Oh my god. Okay, so he. he what a lights. quark nightlight! Ta da! Oh my god. Whoa, oh. look at that! Wow! Oh, the orange. I, I don't want to break anything. The paint. I didn't. When you showed them on the channel, I didn't recognize how awesome the paint is as it comes up and look it kind of bleeds oh. over onto the costume look at that God. all right get the shot kill the lights google turn off mike's lights <gasps> look at that wow i'm sort of in awe of it right now holy crap right <laughs> this is the coolest what? This is the coolest episode we've ever done. We have the best job in the world. I think that's going to live next to your bed. <laughs> like, for real. Well, you know what? You know what I bet would also work with that? Odo. Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, Odo glows, Quark glows. <laughs> I'm going to turn the light off here. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> no point in human history has this <laughs> shot been, been attempted. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that. That's pretty rad. <laughs> this is what we're doing right now. <laughs> Best episode yet. Best episode yet. Hold on, Keith. Oh Hold on. I can get yours in here too somehow. Okay. And Mike, you know, there's there's uh there's only one other missing piece of the equation. We gotta rotate. I'm gonna fall off this bench. Oh, it's just me and my Christmas jammies falling off a bench. You know, no biggie. <laughs> Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, I'm going to save reading the names this week, but just thank you. We've got some new friends to the family. Hopefully new friends. Uh, the, the patrons open for a buck now, y'all. You can come in for a dollar or up to 15 bucks or anything you want to donate to help keep the channel and the content coming. We appreciate each and every one of you. Couldn't do it, Literally could not do it without you. Uh, thanks to everybody for their fun Christmas, amazing stuff you Unbelievable. sent us. Um, JD Makes and Colin Dagan, you have outdone yourselves with more phenomenal work i mean you've got a quark nightlight from colin and a like a absolutely beautiful quark nightlight like that is oh yeah absolutely perfect jen jen's gonna love when i put it directly next to our bed oh i'm, I'm surprised you're not gonna put it between you <laughs> it's just on my pillow <laughs> <laughs> just on your pillow um additionally uh what was the other thing i wanted to say oh yeah Check out, don't, don't, next week, my mom has a time capsule of my childhood in the 90s. I haven't opened it in over 20 years. We're yes. going to see what might be in there. Uh, is, is there anything yeah, in there? Hopefully, or we don't have a show. So stay That's tuned true. for next That's week. That's true. Uh, until oh, then, boy. thanks to CRM. I think it's just at CRM Customs. At CRM Customs. You've got JD Makes on YouTube and in general. Uh, we thank them. We thank all the people who who are going to be sending us stuff to show on the on the channel. Uh, our cup runneth over. We're just two giant kids. Thanks for being kids with us. Until next time, Keith. I guess this yeah. has been. Look at our Star Trek toys. Spin away, kids. Spin look away. At my Star Trek toys.